Hey guys, it's TF. Now, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 favorite Hasbro Marvel Legends of 2020. So, uh, sorry I haven't been making videos lately. I've been busy with not only the holidays, but with work. But uh, I do have some time to make my top 10 lists that I would like to make. I never got around to it last year before I stopped making videos, but now I want to go ahead and bring them back. Very, very good year. For marvel legends this may be one of the best years for marvel legends in a very long time they had a lot of stuff come out and a lot of really good stuff uh what you're seeing here is honorable mentions from left to right it's basically 15 to 11 they were very close to making it into the actual top 10 but just didn't quite get there yet but number 15 is superior octopus really well done figure with a nice body mold and uh a surprise that I didn't hate the uh, tentacles that he comes with. They're thinner and they don't have bendy, uh, bendy wires, unfortunately, but they're not as thick as the uh, Doc Ock uh, tentacles, which those just did not work, at least for me, when it came to that figure. So it works better on this guy here. You don't see them right now just because I can't find them right now. Uh, 14 is the movie Domino. Very well done figure. Great likeness to Zazzy Beats. Pretty good amount of accessories and overall a really well done figure that has a unique body mold which i'm pretty sure is completely unique um i don't think there's any reuse except for maybe the hands uh we do have the number 13 walmart exclusive gray version of black widow which I was, I was finally able to find this fall very well done i was very excited to get it and it did not disappoint the body mold is a little, is reused but what's new is really well done and it comes with a great amount of accessories Number 12 is King the Conqueror, an awesome, unique body mold. Uh, articulation is a little bit hindered in the elbows mostly, but it's still a phenomenal figure. They did a great job with that uh, that figure. And number 11, which was very close to the top 10, uh, it kind of interchanged with a few figures, which is Silver Centurion Iron Man, the Walgreens exclusive one. And it's just a really awesome figure that I think that they nailed. I'm not the biggest fan of how they did the head uh, articulation, where it's all the neck and the head are all one piece. So you really can't interchange parts with other Iron Man figures, like the heads and all that. But it's still really well done and really nice articulation and a good amount of accessories. And just an awesome Iron Man figure. So let's go ahead and start with number 10. At number 10, I have Shang-Chi. And I am very, very happy with this figure. I got all the way back when it came out in March, I believe. It comes with a ton of accessories that you don't see right now, but just eight different pairs of hands including fists i think he came packaged with uh it, just tons of accessories not only two different types of uh nunchucks but also a build a figure piece this is one of the most packed in marvel legends that isn't a deluxe figure i have seen in quite some time i haven't seen anything like this since uh i want to say like 2014 or 2015 iron fist this figure again is just really awesome and the body mold that he has which is the uh spider uk or the spider-man 2099 body works really well i really like the head sculpt and a lot of the new parts like uh the new parts on the legs all the way going down to the calves um just they did a really great job with this figure and it's fun to pose around and it's really awesome to get him into different poses because of his accessories at number nine we have the retro collection spider-man a lot of people were very excited for this figure myself included and for a lot of people it's the go-to spider-man i do think it's a very very good spider-man to me it's just a little low on the list for now compared to a lot of other stuff that came out this year like it's, seriously when i again when i say that 2020 was a great year for marvel legends like almost every figure i was picking up from hasbro's marvel legends line was just absolutely solid this figure is really well done uh just a few things i didn't like about it which just you know kind of the how the paint would get uh the details would get broken up because of some of the articulation but it, i mean it really can't blame it based on the design it comes with a good amount of accessories although i do wish it came with uh open palm hands i had to find open palm hands for this uh it only comes with the flipping hands and fists uh other than that, again, a pretty awesome figure. And for people who haven't gotten a Spider-Man figure yet, this is probably going to be your go-to, at least when it comes to the comic Spider-Man. It's still really good. At number eight is going to be the Armored Daredevil from the Spider-Man Retro Collection. It may not have as much articulation as the Spider-Man that I just mentioned, but I just like this one a little bit more in my review. I kept saying that. It's, I don't really know exactly why. I think just... This outfit was executed in Marvel Legends form super well that I'm just very happy with it. Uh, the metallic red came out super nice. The only thing I have really an issue with is that uh, 
some of the silver, like on the legs, on the side of the legs and the, you know, the upper thighs and all that, the silver is great. But when you see the uh, shoulder pads and the cuffs and the batons, they don't have any silver when I'm pretty sure they should be. And it just, I mean, they're soft plastic, so I get why they are not silver, like metallic silver. But I just wish that they were. Overall, though, it is very awesome. And again, like I said in my review, I just like this a little bit more than the Spider-Man. But both are still great figures. At number seven is the Maximum Carnage figure. I was very surprised, just like a lot of people, when we found out in like the beginning of fall, I think, or towards the end of the summer, that we were getting a, uh, a Venom wave and we were getting another Carnage. And at first, I didn't think I would like the new Carnage, you know, from the initial photos over the previous one, but this one, this new one blows the previous one out of the water. That new body mold works really well. A lot of great sculpted details when it comes to the butt, all the black goop that's basically on him, all the tendrils and all that. It's just really well done, and the different heads that he comes with are really good, too. Uh, I think the butterfly joint could be a little bit hindered. I think it's the only complaint I had. I don't have it on me right now. I wish I did, but there really isn't much to dislike about this figure. I just kind of wish he also came with some effects pieces for the hands like the 2018 version did, but overall still a very, very awesome figure. At number six, I have the movie Deadpool from the Fox X-Men line. Uh, this is the movie Deadpool and Negasonic Teenage Warhead 2-pack version of Deadpool, of course. Very happy, like a lot of people are, to have a Ryan Reynolds Marvel Legends Deadpool. Uh, I did bash on this figure a little bit during my review, but as time went on, I think the issues I had with it slowly went away. And I ended up loving this figure a lot, honestly. Uh, it's very fun to pose around. It has great sculpting. Articulation is pretty solid as well. I just don't really like how they did some of the accessories. Most specifically, the uh, you know, the Desert Eagles that are glued into the holsters, which you can remove with enough heat and enough force to pull it out. But I just think that they shouldn't have been glued in the first place. They should have just been normal accessories. And I think the katanas are a little too small. But other than that, I'm very happy to have this figure. And he has the pinless technology too, which is awesome. We're getting to the top five. And at number five, we have the movie cable figure from Deadpool 2, which was a Walmart exclusive, one of the easiest Walmart exclusives I've ever found. I am actually very surprised, but it's a very, very awesome figure. I think that Hasbro did a really great job. May Shelf sculpted this. I believe uh, May Shelf also sculpted the Deadpool figure and uh, you know, the movie one, and the, both just phenomenal sculpting overall. Great articulation with this guy. I really like all the accessories that he comes with. I really don't think I have many problems with the figure overall, except for maybe a little bit of hindering in the head because if it's on a it's on a dumbbell joint, but it's just super solid. There's very little complaints I have about the, uh, about this figure. At number four is going to be the deluxe War Machine figure. It is this is just such an impressive figure. I never got around to reviewing it unfortunately, just because by the time I wanted to review it, I was it's just, it had been out for a, a while unfortunately, but. It's still really well done, comes with tons of accessories, effects pieces for the shoulder cannons, uh, the shoulder guns, of course, as well as the wrist gun comes uh, that comes with some effects pieces as well, an alternate head. It also has a dumbbell joint, just like some of the figures that we got this year. I actually don't mind it on this figure that much. I kind of mind it on other figures, like I said, with cable, but it worked a lot better than I thought it would for this figure, and it just... It's just a really well done figure. The only thing is that maybe could have come with some alternate hands. I don't know, but it still comes with a ton of stuff and it's just such a really well done figure. Now, another complaint was that it was a deluxe figure, which honestly with the stuff it had, it probably could have fit to a $20 box, you know, but overall, I still think I, it was worth the 30 bucks I paid. Number three is going to be Old Man Hawkeye from the Old Man Hawkeye and Old Man Logan 2-pack. A very solid two pack. I didn't mind that Logan figure, honestly, even though it was very similar to the previous one and it had enough new about it. But this figure overall is just absolutely fantastic. I really, really like the body mold. It's very cool. I wish they would reuse it, hopefully, in the future for army builders like Mercs and whatnot. It's just a very solid figure. This, I think this entire figure is also sculpted by May Shelf. Uh, who did a phenomenal job this year with the Marvel Legends line. Tons of great accessories for this figure right here. I mean, the whole set comes with a great amount of accessories, but you get alternate heads and two different bows for this figure. 
I do wish that the quivers had, you know, an open slot where you can actually pull out uh, arrows and whatnot, but I guess that's all right for now. Uh, could have had a little bit of better paint, like in the, the shirt, maybe, and maybe in the pants, but overall, it's just it's just such an awesome figure. I think the price of this two-pack has gone down a little bit if you wanted to uh, pick this two-pack up just for this figure. At number two is going to be the Amazon exclusive Hugh Jackman Wolverine which is from the X-Men Fox line. The only complaint I have about this figure is that it was 25 bucks and it should have been 20 bucks. This figure is super solid and I'm very happy to have it. I did not get the retail version yet, but honestly, I don't think I need to just because this version is really well done. It has pinless technology for the arms. They did, it just looks like Hugh Jackman. Like up close, it gets a little iffy, but far away enough, not super far away. Uh, it just looks like Hugh Jackman. They did a really good job with the hands when it comes to the claws, that comes with bone claws and the metal claws. And just it's just it's just super solid. I'm very, very happy that the Hugh Jackman Wolverines that we have right off the bat for Marvel Legends are super solid. And at number one is the 2018 movie Venom figure. This is such an incredible figure. I honestly thought the Hugh Jackman Wolverine was going to take it for the longest time, but this figure came out in the fall, and it it's just it just blew me away. I didn't have very high expectations for it either, and it was just super solid. Uh, there's very little I dislike about this figure. Uh, maybe some effects pieces could have been nice, but it, it comes with a good amount of accessories, like you know a pair of fists and an alternate head. I really like the paint that they did on the uh, the white tendrils or whatever. The white details on the chest and the shoulders which can look a little weird but i've gotten used to it i would love to repaint another venom figure to look more the, uh, like the classic venom hopefully they reuse this body in the future whether it be hopefully for comic venoms or what have you for other characters even but overall it's just such a good figure with great sculpting great detail great articulation and a good amount of accessories so uh that's pretty much it Thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think about the video. I also want to know what some of your favorite Marvel Legends of the year were. If you got any, let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree or disagree with anything on this list? I'd like to know. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys later.